students, in lesson one in the thermal energy unit, they the cup company claims that their fancy cup will keep drinks colder longer than a regular to-go cup. So in lesson one, you are at, we are conducting an experiment where we determine whether the cups maintain cold longer. In order to do that, we must use a tool. That tool is a thermometer. To use our thermometers, you must turn them on and you'll need to make sure that they're on Fahrenheit. There's a button there to click between Fahrenheit and Celsius. We wanna make sure they're on Fahrenheit. Note, these thermometers do shut off after a few minutes, so we'll have to make sure that they're on. That's on Celsius, switching over to Fahrenheit. What we will do is in order to conduct an experiment, we've gotta have some constants, things that are the same. So although these cups do look different, they both hold 16 ounces of water. So they are actually the same even though they are different heights. So in the cold cup challenge, what we will do is we will fill out this chart. And after one minute with the thermometers in, we will read the temperature of the regular cup and fancy cup. And after five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and 30 minutes, we will denote the times. We will then create a temperature change and then we'll have to read this tabular data. So in a moment, we will pour the experiment, we will start it, and then, at the end of this video, the next slide will have the key where you are to fill in if you are absent. If you are present, use your class tabular data. So to make sure we have a correct experiment, we are gonna use the same ice water for both cups. We're gonna pour the water in both cups. Again, 16 ounces of water, and this is ice water. And 16 ounces here. We will put the cup lids on as instructed by the manufacturer and the thermometers will they be displayed as the straws. So we would normally put in a straw that we don't. We are going to wait one minute, read the temperatures and put the scores in. Again, next slide, this will be filled out and you will put this in your geojournal if you're absent.